Dubbo in the seventies was a sleepy old town, really. As a kid, at high school, you have no idea, but I had an idea because I had older brothers that had left. That there was something beyond Dubbo, and I learnt probably through their experiences that I should go and have the same ones, which was go and just let your hair down and find out who you are. I was in Dubbo, I, was, I always knew I was gay, but I couldn't tell anyone. I have a best friend who was the same, so probably from first year in high school, we both knew, we met each other and confided in each other and we had each other the whole time as best friends and we still are to this day. But my family was fairly gay sort of family, out of five <laughs> there are three gay. I'm the only daughter, so I was protected within the family in that respect that wasn't something you talked about. As soon as I hit Sydney, everything changed, so you just found out there were lots of people the same as you and you didn't have to hide and you could be who you wanted to be. That was, so it was liberating. I was liberated. In the, 70, yeah. in the 70s? But in my family, I was hard in my family because my dad was the local member and he'd been a Methodist minister before that. So we had all of that pressure as well as we were weird and wild and crazy. That's why coming back, the thought of coming back to Dubbo 35 years later was a bit daunting, <laughs> to say the least. But I trusted Chris's um, confidence that it would be all right. And we'd been in Newcastle for five, six years or something. Yeah. And uh, it was time because we hit our 50s and parents got old and... Everything changed in that respect. Kids had gone, grown up and gone off. And the new challenge was aged care. That's right. <laughs> and Not as wild as the 80s. No. But in the 70s, I, I was a year behind, busy at school. And I was also in hiding. And I knew that I was gay too when I was at school. But I chose a different path. And that was one to try and fit in and try and be normal and um, so I left school went overseas and did 12 months as a Rotary Exchange student in the late 70s I then um, married had two kids and my eldest child was gay so <laughs> my um, she came out before you did yes she did and I was always afraid, um, choosing what I thought was the easy path, but it wasn't. Uh, I found out through my daughter that coming out wasn't going to be as big an issue in Dubbo as I thought, and that my family was completely accepting of her. So, in fact, it probably would be okay if I decided to let everybody know <laughs> who I really was as well. So. Um, you know, as a consequence, I was able, I felt far more comfortable coming out and I did so. And then um, some uh, time after that, I was got in touch with Busy in relation to what my daughter was doing with her music. And that's how we reconnected after so many years. But I had always known Busy and um, I think everyone at Dubbo South High School knew Busy in the 1970s. She's always been personality plus, <laughs> and um, yeah, I I don't know that she would have noticed me because I was yeah you were cute. Try I was maintaining a very low profile. You always had a good and, fringe. <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> um, so yeah, living reconnecting with busy and living in Newcastle was great, and and the kids were over there at the time, and then they moved on. Um, our son Stevie moved down to Sydney and Mojo moved to Melbourne. So when my parents needed help back in Dubbo, as my dad wasn't very well, the good daughters came. We came and we've been here for five years and it hasn't been so bad. We've connected with a lot of... No, it's pretty good, really. ...really creative people. Um, and I think 
Dubbo's doing quite well as a regional city. And Surprisingly, yeah. There's a theatre here now and um, there's a cinema complex. It's starting to catch up. There is sometimes, I think, a serious lack of culture, but I think we're working on I that. I haven't been out dancing in Dubbo. No, though. no, but we... I you think will. I'd be a bit old <laughs> if I went out dancing in Dubbo. Uh, but, you know, that's always something we can look forward to. But, you know, there's some amazing young people in Dubbo now oh, that are doing some really interesting things. And I think it's a great time to be here. It and, is. It and is. there's all sorts of things happening that make it great a great place Don't to be. Don't talk about mining, though. No. Don't get me started. No. 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 We... We're passionate about the environment. The environment. That is that one is, of our that passions. That is one of the worries of Dubbo. And I'd like to see whatever happens in Dubbo, make sure that it's something sustainable. Yeah. So that future generations can come to Dubbo and enjoy what it's got to offer. All the trees we've planted. That's right. Yeah. <laughs>